Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Welcome or welcome back. I've been just sitting here, just thinking about things. Um, looking at how my channel is growing. Uh, looking at how, <laughs> oh my goodness. Looking at how one of my videos is really growing in the past three days. Um, really, I think maybe two, two, three days. Well, I posted it like three days ago. And since then, it started to take off. To me, it started taking off yesterday. And I'm just like, wow. It's exciting. And it's like, if this is what success looks like. Oh my gosh, like it just warms my heart. I'm just sitting here eating my cereal. <laughs> I was almost done with it, but I was like, let me turn on my um my camera and just talk to my people. I just want y'all to know. I just posted on my community post and basically saying that Change will not come if we don't change. We can wish it. We can think about it. But if we don't put action into it, nothing's going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. Can I tell you how many times I have wished and hoped that I would gain more subscribers, I would gain more um, viewers, I would uh, uh, be a full-time content creator, but I wasn't doing anything to, to make it work. Can I tell y'all how many times? I can't tell you how many times because it's been so many times. I'm like, and then I keep putting stuff off. Oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to do it Monday. Oh, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it Monday. No. There's no more time for us to keep putting off stuff. Whatever we... What I'm trying to say. If you have a goal, write it down. You can always keep it up here, but actually write it down as well. If you have a dream, write it down. You can always keep it up here, but you also need to write it down. I need you to put the action in. Stop Stop, stop waiting for tomorrow. Stop waiting for Monday. Because we'll always say, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it Monday. My sister always said, why put off tomorrow what you can do today? She's been telling me that for years. Because I'll be like, girl, I don't feel like doing it. I don't feel like doing my laundry. I don't feel like doing a video. I don't feel like cleaning up. I don't feel like so many things I don't feel like doing. And she's always said, girl. Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today. And now that's just like a joke between us because, because she's told me that for years. And I'm listening. I've been listening, but I ain't put no action behind it. But now I really am listening. We just need to put our foot on a gas, okay? Put your foot on a gas. Get stuff done. When I tell you how I started September 30th, put my foot on the gas, making sure I put out a video every day on this channel. I love talking about fragrances. I love talking about body care. So that's what I've been doing every day since September 30th. And we are on day, excuse me, we are on October 16th. Today is October. Let me check my watch. Yeah, October 16th. And right after this video, I'm going to go ahead and do... <laughs> Do my fragrance layering combo of the day diaries video. And I'm going to put it out today. Like I've been doing. So today is day number 17 for me doing it. And one day I was just sitting in my car. And I just was thinking about all kinds of stuff. And I was like, pull your camera out and just start talking to the people. I feel stuck. I feel stuck. I'm a 40-year-old, and I know 
it's it's like a lot of people are going through the same thing that I'm going through. A lot of people are younger than I am going through it. A lot of people are older than I am going through it. But I'm just letting y'all know what I feel right now. I'm 40 years old. I never thought that I would be living with my family. And best believe I'm grateful. Don't don't take it don't take it lightly. I am definitely grateful that I have a place to stay because I really thought that I was gonna be living in my car. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, that's not the thing that I'm living with my family because I love it. I love it. I love the closeness that we have. I love the relationships that we have. Like I wouldn't trade it for the world. But that's not what I'm saying. I'm so used to being on my own that. It was kind of hard to be like, oh, you know, yeah, um, stay with somebody else. Be dependent on other people. <laughs> but God had to humble me. He had to sit me down on my butt. Okay. And I just feel like I'm stuck. You know why I feel like I'm stuck? Because I I get the same paycheck every week. Same paycheck every week. And... The prices that are out there now in the world for these apartments are ridiculous. They are double to triple what I was paying. So I just feel like I can't get anywhere. Like I'm just stuck. I'm stuck until I start making more money. That's why I'm pulling out this camera because I know that I can make money over here. I just got to keep the momentum up. Keep going no matter what. And we will be successful if we just keep going. Push through. Whatever we're going through, we, we got to push through it. It's not going to last long. Whatever we're going through, it's not going to last long. We just have to put our foot on the gas and get stuff done. And that's what I'm doing. I'm putting foot on the gas. And I'm getting my goals accomplished. I'm seeing my channel growing. And I thank y'all for each and every subscriber. I wish I could give y'all a big hug because I thank y'all for just clicking the, the subscribe button. And I hope that um, y'all stay around for a long time. Not for a short time, but for a long time. And I just want every all of us. I want all of us to be successful in whatever way that we want to be successful. And for me, I want to be a full-time a content creator here on YouTube. I see what it can do for other people. I, I've watched people for years. I've been on YouTube for years. I've had a channel for years. I posted my first video 10 years ago. I should be way further along than what I am now. And you know why I'm not? Because of me. Not because of YouTube. Not because of um, subscribers. It's because of me. Because I always stop and stop and stop and stop. I'm tired of that. No more. I'm 40 years old. I thought that, like, when I was 35, for real, for real, I said at 40. And this is why we shouldn't even put, like, like limits. Basically, like, oh, well, if I don't have a kid by this age, if I don't get married by this age, if I don't have a house by this age, if I don't have my dream job by this age, we don't know what God has in store for us. We don't know the trials and tribulations that are going to come. We don't know the ta uh, the obstacles that we're going to have to overcome. We don't know none of that because we can't see the future. But what we do need to do is set some goals, whatever the goals is. Exercise. Eat healthy. Read the Bible more. Go to church. Whatever the goal is, we need to put our foot on the gas and go for it, go for it, getting that new job, starting that new business, working on your business that you already have. I'm working on my YouTube. Miss Natural Shea is a brand. And of course, you know, I want to get it. Um, what do they call it? What do they call it? <laughs> um, oh my goodness. I can't think of what I'm, what I'm trying to say. If y'all know what I'm trying to say, just comment down below. But We just got to do it, y'all. Like, for real. We got to do it for ourselves. We can't do it for nobody else. Of course, we have a family to take care of. We have um, spouses to take care of. And I'm not talking about myself because I'm a single woman. But I'm just saying, I'm talking 
<laughs> I'm talking like this as if, you know, I could say I'm talking about a future spouse because Lord knows if I'm going to, you know, get a husband, get a boyfriend, get somebody. Um, and a husband is preferred. For prefer, preferred. <laughs> That's the ultimate goal is to have a husband. But what I'm saying is, is that we first have to do it for ourselves. We have to be there for ourselves before we can be there for anybody else. Before we can be there for our newborn baby, if we have a child. Before we can be there for our, our parent. Before we can be there for our spouse. Before we can be there for our um uh um people at our jobs, the customers, whoever that we're dealing with on a daily basis. We have to put our foot on the gas for ourselves. We got to make ourselves feel better by doing better get up get up off that couch you see me on this couch get your butt off that couch right now <laughs> i need you to move that body go take a walk if if your goal is to you know drop 20 pounds in three four six months i'm gonna say i'm gonna take it out to six months drop 20 pounds in six months you can't do it if you're still sitting on the couch you can't do it if you still been in that elbow eating whatever and, and whatever that you want. We got goals, baby. We have goals and we need to go for it. Just go for it. Like there's no better time than now. There's no better time than now. I need you to move. Move. And when God sees us moving, when he sees that we're putting in that work, He's going to do what he's supposed to do, what he wants to do. But he got to see that we're doing all that we can before he wants to bless us. It all makes sense. Why am I going to help somebody out if you ain't helping out yourself? Huh? Why am I going to help somebody out that's... That's not helping themselves out. I don't want to help you. That's how I feel <laughs> that God is, is, is saying to us or saying about us. I see my daughter. <laughs> She's starting, stopping, starting, stopping. I want to bless her so bad. But I need her to know. I want to see what she can do on her own. That's putting that foot on the gas. Don't let up off of it. Just keep going. Just keep going. I'm going to keep saying that. Just keep going. Like Dory on Nemo. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. We need to keep going. Because we won't know. We won't know what God has in store for us if we don't keep going. There's going to be blessings upon blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Coming for us, like coming for us. I'm going to have a blessing. You're going to have a blessing. You're going to have a blessing. Just like Oprah said, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. That's what God is saying. You get a blessing. You get a blessing. You get a blessing. You get a blessing. He want us to live abundantly. He want us to be happy. He want us to be fearless. He want us to be not worried about anything. Lean on him for everything. I'm learning that. I, I'm, 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 I don't learn that, but I'm just saying I got to keep on putting it into practice because I'm always worrying about something. Finances is the main thing that I'll be worried about is how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that. When I don't need to be worried about anything, because guess what? Every single time we're still here, right? We're still here on earth. The reason being is because, first of all, our time is not up. He said if we're still here, that means we still have work to do. The second thing is, dang, I don't forgot my train of thought. But we're still here because God has a plan for all of us. He has an individual plan for all of us. We got to stop looking at our neighbor. Stop looking at the YouTuber. 
that we love to watch. The neighbor that's right next door that has the newest ride, the dream house, the everything. <laughs> and we over here with our old beat up car that we don't have for years. Our old beat up um uh grass cutter that we don't have for years. You might gotta put, you know, some oil on the wheels. They still squeaking. But guess what? Ain't nothing broke. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. We worry about our own backyard. We worry about our own things that's going on in our lives. We can't keep up with the Joneses. We'll always be broke. If we worrying about, oh yeah, well, they got it, so I need to get it. No. You need to be thankful for what you have so that eventually God will bless you with more. If you living in a a a a a, a small she shed. I'm just I ain't even gonna say a small, but if you live in a she shed, and I just said that because it's a very small area, but you got it decked out inside, it looked good. Or they're just like, I want more. We gotta be thankful, grateful for what we have right now in order for us to bless us with something better. With more. We gotta stop all of this. Complaining. I'm a complainer. I'm doing better, but I'm still a complainer. And I got to stop it. Like for real, for real. I do, when I when I hear people complaining, and, and I put myself in there too, I stop it. When I know, I'm like, don't do that. Don't. Mm -mm. Look at all the things that you need to be thankful for. God woke us up this morning. We're in our right mind. We can walk, talk, see, all that. Got all of our five senses. We still got our ride, our car, our truck, or whatever, moped. It don't matter. To get from A to B and back to A. We got food in the refrigerator, food in the pantry, food in the cabinets. Gas in the car. We breathing in air. It's so many things we taking for granted. But anyway, I could talk another hole in your head, but I'm going to stop it right here. I'm going to stop it right here. I just want y'all to know that I want y'all to just go for it. Go for it. If you want to start your YouTube channel, start it. But do not let your foot up off the gas. If you got to put a video out every day, Put a video out every day. You do what's best for you. To get the momentum started. Do a video a day. If you can't do that. Your life is too busy. You just need to carve out some time. And work on what you want. That's what I'm doing. My life is busier than a mug at this very moment. It's been busy for, for, for well over a good month. Like real busy. And I still find time to put out a video every day. Because I'm trying to do stuff that I've never done before. Yeah, I've done it for Vlogmas. But I'm just saying, just I just want to do something where I can just grow, grow, and grow. And make the coins that I need to make. Need. These are not for once at this moment. These are for needs. I need to get a place. I need to be able to pay my bills once I do get a place. I don't want to be working two, three jobs. I've had at least three jobs this year. My regular job, where I get the same paycheck every week. I've done DoorDash. And I've cleaned Airbnbs for the summertime. I can't do Airbnbs now because uh, the summertime is over and people are going back to their homes. They're not vacationing like, <laughs> like they, you know, like they did in the summertime at the beach area. So I've had three jobs and I still need more because it's just not enough. I don't want to stay out all day long from sun up to sundown. To make a hundred dollars. 
uh, maybe a hundred dollars. Sometimes you can make a hundred and twenty some dollars, hundred thirty some dollars. Who wants to do that every single day of their life? And I get it if you need to. Like, if I need a DoorDash right now, I can just go on the app and, and go ahead and start DoorDashing. So it's very convenient and easy and all that great stuff. I'm just saying I don't want to live my life like this for the rest of my life until it's time for me to retire. No. I'm seeing people out here living their best life. It seems like I don't know what the situation they got going on, but... From the outside looking in, they got these beautiful houses. Of course, you got to pay for them. We know that. You got to pay taxes. You got to pay um, your mortgage every month and all that stuff. But what I'm saying is it's enough money on YouTube, first of all, to, to go around. I got to stop limiting myself thinking that, oh, I can't. I won't be able to do what they're doing like have a successful YouTube channel because I'm not talking about doing what they do, really. Because whatever God has for them is for them. I want what God has for me. And I know he has more than I can imagine for my life. I just got to keep pushing through. Keep going. Keep grinding. And I need you to do the same. I know you got some goals. Dig deep. All right. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.